in the year 1600, they were fighting their own new world order. To be or not to be, that is the question. Whether it is nobler in the mind to suffer the slings and arrows of outrageous fortune, or to take arms against a sea of troubles, and by opposing, end them. To die, to sleep, to sleep no more, and by a sleep to say we end the heartache and the thousand natural shocks that flesh is heir to. Tis a consummation, devoutly to be wished, to die, to sleep, to sleep, perchance to dream. Aye, there's the rub, for in that sleep of death what dreams may come when we have shuffled off this mortal coil must give us pause. There's the respect that makes calamity of so long life. For who would bear the whips and scorns of time? The oppressor's wrong, the proud man's contumely. The pangs of despised love, the laws delay, the insolent office of, and the spurns, the patient merits the unworthy takes, when he himself, he himself might his quietus make with a bare bodkin. Who would bottles bear to grunt and sweat under a weary life, but that the dread of something after death? The undiscovered country from whose born no traveler returns puzzles the will and makes us rather bear those ills we have than to fly to others that we know not of. Thus conscience does not make cowards of us all. And thus the night of hue of resolution is sickly o'er with the pale cast of thought and enterprise of great pith and moment. With this regard the currents turn away and lose the name of action. Soft you now, the fair Ophelia, nymph in thy erisions, be all my sins remembered. <laughs>